Hey guys, welcome to my channel. If you're new here, hi, my name is Amanda Rose. In today's video, Bobby and I, this is my husband, by the way, if you didn't already know, Bobby and I are going to be trying out a whole bunch of different hard seltzers. Really wanted to try a whole bunch of other ones other than White Claw and Truly. But before we do get started, please subscribe to my channel for beauty and lifestyle. Also, don't forget to click the post notification bell just to be notified when my videos here? do go live. Without further ado, let's go ahead and get into it. Okay guys, so we literally have a ton of different types of seltzers. Now, I did try one of the Bud Light seltzers. We do have the holiday Bud Light seltzers in Sugar Plum Cranberry Seltzer Nog, oh, that's which, be different. well, I'm really excited to try that one. And then Cherry Cordial, I have tried before. It tastes like a cherry Tootsie Pop. And then we have seven other ones that we will be trying. Mm -hmm. Some of them are actually not a sparkling water. It's like a sparkling margarita hard alcohol in it and all that other shit. I guess let's just go ahead and get started with the Bud Light ones. First on the list is gonna be the Buds. This one, Bud Light Seltzer Sugar Plum. All right, we're sharing these by the way. It smells nice. I could drink that. Where's the flavor? What are you talking about? You know, this tastes like um. It's just as flavorful as. No, it tastes like cheap candy. I thought it was pretty good. There's um, like no flavor to I don't know it. Sugar um, it tastes like more like blueberry. It tastes like no berry. Let's try cranberry. That tastes more like cranberry than the White Claw one does. It tastes like cranberry that you would have at oh, Thanksgiving. Oh wow, this is good. It's like Thanksgiving cranberry. This tastes just like, yeah, Thanksgiving cranberry. You can't really taste the alcohol in it. So this has 5% alcohol in it, which is like nothing. Cherry cordial. Cherry cordial is my favorite. I freaking love this one. Watch. <laughs> Tootsie Pop. Watch. <laughs> It tastes like the brown part of the Tootsie Pop. It tastes like cherry Tootsie Pop, yeah. The brown part. Like Tootsie Roll? You yeah, think it tastes like a Tootsie part. Roll? Yeah, it doesn't taste like, it tastes like the outside, it tastes like the inside. Mm. It's it pretty good though. so good. This one is freaking tasty. Mm -hmm. Okay, so now we're gonna go in with the... Seltzer Nog. Mm. <laughs> is it suspicious? Is it sus? Is it it's sus? sus. That's actually not that bad. Really? It tastes kind of like gingerbread. Ooh, I, you know what? I didn't think that Bud Light would do a good job with hard seltzers, but um, they did a pretty good job. Oh, Kona Spiked Island Seltzer, 5%. There you go, bam. I don't know if you have that at your local store, but we'll see Kona how good it is. Kona Spiked Tropical Punch. This really hits you right here, doesn't it? It does. With the Kona. Yeah, the Kona. Mm -hmm. Whole family's from Hawaii, you guys already know that. I know what this tastes like. It tastes like the Flintstone vitamins. That's and million strong <laughs> and growing. I used to eat those. Like candy? Eat, yes. Yeah. I would, my mom would buy them. I'd find them and I'd probably eat like 30 of them. So that's where Wesley got it from. <laughs> <laughs> they were so good. Good. Seagram's. Seagram's. Old school Seagram's wine cooler company. I've had Seagram's before, but it was a long time Yeah, but time you had ago. wine coolers, like a, like all ghetto. Oh my god, yeah. I It was very ghetto. Yes, <laughs> I have a really terrible story about wine coolers. Oh my no, god. Is there actually a good story about wine coolers? I don't think there is. <laughs> Jamaican me happy. Oh, how cute. Lemon, strawberry, watermelon, and guava. Ooh, so, yeah. I love guava. This is a really large drink. It is. I'm already feeling it. That's fucking good. <laughs> That's way too good. Oh my god. Holy <laughs> shit. That's way too good. It's pretty much uh, strawberry lemonade with some watermelon in dude, it. The, and you can taste, oh my one, god, hold on, hold on, hold on, let me have yeah. yeah. That one's way too good. Mm. We gotta try all the other Seagram ones now. Mm -hmm. That's 8%, I think, too. 3.2%. That's like a like a nightcap or something. Yeah. All right, so this is one from the Arizona Tea Company. Arizona Sunrise. Mucho Mango. 4.6% alcohol. I actually really like the Arizona teas. Yeah, you do. The Fruit Punch one is the best. They're terrible, but great. It's got a funky smell. Really? And it's got a funky taste. Ooh, it smells like almost hot garbage a little bit. Well, it tastes like hot garbage. Like when you walk into the garage and the trash is full, kind of like that. <laughs> Ooh, 
Yeah, no. Oh my god, it tastes like butter. So Can Phil, you taste the butter? I don't want to taste the butter. It's got like a buttery aftertaste. <laughs> oh, Smirnoff's got 8%. Oh my god. I have another bad story about Smirnoff. Oh my gosh. Why did I say Smirnoff? I don't know. It's Smirnoff, not Smirnoff. 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 Smirnoff ice. This is ice. Ice. That's from Hocus Pocus, if you guys don't know. Is it? Yeah. Remember when he shaved ice on the back of his head? Um, <laughs> so this one is peach and mango. Ice smash. This is huge, you guys. I'm sure it's Smirnoff. I'm sure they put out a good product. It's good, but it tastes like Smirnoff. Like, you guys know the Smirnoff taste. That's what it, it it's like bringing me back to Puke and Rally good. days. Yeah, it's all right, but it tastes like Smirnoff. It's very heavy on the peach, I'm guessing, to cover up the taste of Smirnoff. But you see, but you yeah. know what I'm talking about. Yeah. It's the Smirnoff They're trying to mask, taste. Yeah. mask the, <clears throat> the taste. Reds. I've had reds before, just the regular one. I don't know if this is any different. I don't think I've had that before. Wicked Apple. I've had it once before. All right, I'll give it a try. T t today, Junior. Yeah, what I remember. Ooh. Oh, this one's mine. I love anything apple because I can't eat apples. I'm allergic to them after having kids. Oh, this is good. Are you getting hot? No. I'm getting hot. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Look at my hair. Look at my hair. <laughs> Look at my hair. <laughs> I love your hair. I'm not gonna touch your head, but I love your hair. He doesn't like you it when anyone. I know, but like at least it's not like my skin or your skin. All right. This next one is Rita's Strawberry. -da. I can smell it. I actually like that one. Mm. It's not overwhelmingly strawberry. It does taste like a uh, margarita. Ooh, I can taste the um like the lime that they put in margaritas in here. That's good. It's pretty good. This I've never even too. heard of them, but it's pretty good. This one's mine too. You can't have all of them. What are you gonna eight fist it? <laughs> so the last one we have here is twisted tea. Get twisted! Is that what they say in the commercial? Yeah. Really? Something like that. I'm getting twisted. I'm getting twisted right now. Literally the first time I'd ever seen it was when we moved to Massachusetts and twisted tea is very, very popular on the East Coast. And yeah, and I don't I don't think I've tried this. We watch Summer House and we have tried Kyle and Amanda's what? You watch Summer House. You watch it with me. I so happen to be in the room when you watch it. It's not my no, favorite. No, but the thing is, like, you know what's going on. Of course I do. I don't have a choice. I don't force you. It's not. <laughs> it's not like I freaking do like this to your eyes. It's like Clockwork Orange. He watches Real Housewives with me. It's a storyline. <clears throat> everything. Yes, I watch those. Yeah. So yeah, we have tried Kyle and Amanda's version of this and it's pretty good. Lover boy, yeah. yes. I wish that they did have it here because I would totally support them, but I don't see it anywhere here in the greater Seattle area. Yeah, bro, get on distribution. It'd be really big here actually, especially on the east side. Probably. It'd be huge on the Bellevue. east side. This is not like a seltzer or anything like that. This is 5% alcohol. It's not bad. <clears throat> I know that you like tea better though. Yeah, it's high. It's slightly twisted. So now that we're done at trying all of these out, we're gonna go ahead and rate these and talk about them just a tiny, tiny bit. We're gonna go ahead and tell you our worst to our most favorite. Okay, so the first one that we have here is the Arizona Sunrise Mucho Mango. This one has 4.6 alcohol. This one- Stick to tea. Yeah, like I'm not even gonna take another sip of it. I just can't. It tastes, it's just not good. It tastes like tea that's gone bad. Like it's musty. Yeah. It is musty. That's not good. Musty mango, hot garbage. That's what it should have been called, not mucho mango, musty mango. Musty. <laughs> Musty Mango. By Arizona. The next one that we have here is the Kona Spiked Island Seltzer. It's just not good. It tastes like Flintstone vitamins. You can go in it. Yeah, you can go in and drink that one because I like the other ones. It's lacking flavor. It's not terrible, but it's definitely not good. Alcohol. It does taste like vitamins. Doesn't it? Like yeah. the aftertaste, it tastes That's like weird. vitamins, right? Next one was Twisted Tea. I was kind of disappointed in this one. I was mm. kind of looking forward to that one. I was excited for that. I think it would honestly be better if it were carbonated. Maybe. Honestly, I've had a little bit more lemon or a little bit more of like a tea taste because it just kind of it's just bland all the way through <clears throat> I mean, it has a tea taste, but it's just there's something not right about it Like you you taste too much alcohol and not enough tea. Mm, mm -hmm. I don't mind this one, but she didn't really like it the Bud Light sugar plum. It's cheap candy That's yeah. what it tastes like <clears throat> And I'm not gonna say dollar store candy because dollar store has got some bomb candy But this is like it's not amazing, but it's not bad. It's like no name external list or so fifth favorite least favorite mm -hmm. was Smirnoff. Once again, mm -hmm. not terrible, but it's <clears throat> heavy on the peach. Mm -hmm. If you want to relive your high school days or college days, if you want to be reminded of 
of the times that you were stuck on a toilet, this is what you're gonna want. It doesn't taste bad. On a toilet or face in a toilet? Face, face. Okay. It could be either or, actually. Both ends, huh? Yeah. Both ends is never, never good. Yeah. What do you do when that happens? So you like you try switch. to switch. You try you to stay on the toilet yeah. and throw up in the in the tub if there is one. No, if there's no tub, you just you gotta switch. You gotta. But hold. what's priority? I would say that the the ass is priority. Yeah. Whatever comes out here is definitely secondary. Yeah. I'd probably like. I've never had that experience, fortunately. You haven't. Oh, no. I have. I can't really do heavy dairy, so my stomach will be in knots for like six hours, and I'll literally like. Okay. Okay, would you would you would you attempt to like spread them and then do both? If I could, I'm not the exorcist. <laughs> oh oh. I am not the exorcist. Oh man, what would you guys do? I know that this is like this video is gonna be so freaking raunchy, but like this is us like oh, just man. hanging out at home. But what would you guys well, do in that situation? I, the poo cano is definitely priority. Oh God, yeah, poo cano is this very is much. secondary, but yeah. would you try to do both is a question. I've thought about it. I think people probably haven't failed. Yeah. Cause you're gonna get it all over yourself. Yeah, anyway, I'm gonna try this again. So the thing is like when it hits your tongue, you can taste the peach and the mango. Yeah. But when it goes down, it's smearing off all the way down yeah. and I just can't. It's just too much. It's over the top. This was surprisingly good. The Bud Light Seltzer, Seltzer Nog. It just sounds mm -hmm. awful. It has like a, what is the, the, like the last note? It's nutmeg. Nutmeg, I was just gonna it's say nutmeg. that. It's weird, but it's good. <clears throat> I would put that higher on the list actually. Same thing, Bud Light, cranberry. I don't mind this one either. It literally tastes like jellied cranberry from mm. Thanksgiving in a can. A little Seriously. Bit more understated than yeah. the actual mm -hmm. thing. Half of these are gluten free. Which is such a sales thing. <clears throat> Stupid. No, that's bullshit because when I drink no, when I drink the craft beers, my stomach is like in knots the next no, day. No, I get it, but it's it's and a super it's bloated. sales speak. Like you want to make a seltzer water glue. Of course it's gonna be gluten free. It's a seltzer water. My yeah. favorite is when they have like crazy unhealthy things and it says gluten free or no trans fats or something yeah. like that. Like mm -hmm. red vines. It's like packed with probably five tons of sugar, but it says no no fat. Mm -hmm. It's like <clears throat> Really? Yeah, we eat all those though. Oh, I can eat all these. There's no fat. We're a sucker for those though. You know, like the big <laughs> ass tubs. Get out of here, dude. Yeah. Who, are you, who are you fooling? It's pretty and good this though. This is pretty good. It's got the right amount of bite to it that cranberry typically has when you drink a cranberry juice or you have the canned cranberry, which mm -hmm. are you team canned cranberry or are you team homemade cranberry? Oh, I am canned, canned. cranberry, dude. I want to see the canned. ridges from the can on the cranberry. <laughs> I don't you care. See it jiggle? I don't care what anyone says. Like, oh my god, the homemade stuff is so much better. No, it's not. I want it to be <laughs> consistently the same consistency all the way through. I don't like the berries in there because yeah. the ridges actually give you a clear indication of where you want to cut it for your portion. <laughs> Because so, you know it has that, that, that big end and then the three ridges. Yeah. Big big middle, yeah. three ridges. Yeah. So I would take one of the full sides. Dude, you can eat one of those by I can eat the whole can. Are you feeling it yet? Kind of, not really. Are you really. feeling it? I'm feeling it. Next favorite was Rita's. Rita's is very, very good, surprisingly. I mm -hmm. thought the kind of the no-name brand would be like, eh. It's so good. And this one is 8%. Yeah, it's, you can kind of taste it, but it's masked well. Your first swallow is when... <laughs> Like, when it first goes down, you can taste like a tad bit, like that bite of alcohol, but it goes away right after that because you can taste the lime and the strawberry. Anyone that can name that song that I just sang out loud gets a high five. Swallowed. Put it in the comments below if you know who that is. I don't know what it is. I'm not cool like you. Only 90s OGs would know who that is. What? Early, early 90s OGs. I was like four. Maybe mid 90s actually. I was four yeah. in 1990. I would pull out my phone and play the song, but it's no longer in my phone. <laughs> <laughs> Quick background, hold on. So, she knows okay. You want me to tell wait, 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 wait. Let me, me tell it? No, let me tell it. Okay. I was editing on my computer. As you guys know, I'm doing videos every single day, but I can't have a whole bunch of video content stuff that I have like filmed on the computer Fills because it it'll fill it up. I was like, honey, like, I don't know what to do. Like, I don't want to keep erasing all of my content that I have. I'm going to have to edit one video at a time. And he's like, okay. It's erased by music. Yeah. He was like, go ahead. You can, you can go ahead and erase it. I was like, are you okay? Like, you put a lot of time into putting this music in and like he even worked on it like finding all the album covers it took him like a couple weeks to do that yeah. like I asked him probably like six seven eight nine ten times 
not her fault. Are you sure? Like, he was like, go ahead. So then today I erased all of my music and then I erased all of his music to make more room on the computer. When he went to go get food, he went to play no his music. music. On my phone. There's no music on his phone. Thanks, and I was Apple. like, oh my God. Thanks, Apple. So now I feel I gotta, so bad. I'm going to start from scratch. This wasn't as high on my list, but she liked it a lot. So this was a bam. Tastes very good. 8% once again. So that's definitely mm -hmm. a positive. It's got a spiced apple taste. It is very, very much like mm. ordinary cider. It tastes like cider. Cider, cider. And yeah. I am a huge fan of cider. Before I moved to Massachusetts, we would go to this other place for Halloween. You're talking about good... Bob's? I knew yeah. you were going to go there. Bob's. Mm -hmm. The cider they have tastes the same. Oh my God. The cider that Bob's Corn Maze in Snohomish has is like the best I've ever had. Their donuts. Anyway. That's, good. Better, that's yeah. No <laughs> I need a second, third, fourth. This one's super good. Only downside is it's only 3.2%. This tastes like Arizona's fruit, fruit punch. punch. <clears throat> but way better. Yeah, yeah, that's just good. It's like candy drink. It is. I think it's because... Jamaican me happy. Uh, okay, so when you first smell it, it smells <clears throat> like straight up watermelon. That's all that it smells like. You can taste all the flavors that are in here. So last but not least, Bud Light Seltzer Cherry Cordial, AKA Tootsie Roll Pop. Oh my God, it's literally the best. Best. Yeah, it tastes like a, a ta cherry Tootsie Roll. Yes. It's freaking weird. Yes, it literally <clears throat> like, it literally like the Tootsie Roll company is coming after Bud Light. When it first goes down, you can taste the Bud Light. Like, but when you come up for a breath, that's when you can like taste. Taste. Yes, taste the rainbow. No, that's Skittles. Uh, yeah, that is Skittles. <laughs> That would actually be a really, really good idea for like those candy companies to make drinks of their most popular candies. Oh my God. If they made a seltzer water that tastes like Skittles, dude. Oh yeah. Who wouldn't be all yeah. over that? However, however. I would try that and for sure. I know, I know that a lot of you guys would agree that if like Skittles did do something, green has to 100% be lime, but it's got to taste like the lime one. Not a lot of lime drinks taste really good. What is it, apple now? That's yeah, green apple It was now. lime and now it's it apple. It was lime. The green Skittles, the lime, was my favorite out of all the Skittles before they changed it. And now that it's green apple, it just tastes like shit. It really just tastes like shit. So I think they're going back to lime though. All right, guys. So that is it for my video. I hope that you enjoyed it. If you did enjoy it, please give it a big thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel for beauty and lifestyle. If you guys want to see more stuff like this, please let me know in the comment section down below. Let me know if you guys have tried any of these drinks. And if you have, let me know what you think of them. Or suggestions. Yes. Yes. Do you like one that you did? didn't see here, let us know. Yes, let us know. I mean, we have tried all the Trulies, but if you guys want us to try all the Trulies again, whether it be like the original, tea, tropical, lemonade. Le lemonade's the best by lemonade far. Lemonade is just the so, best. Just so you know. I was thinking that I could somehow integrate Bobby into my videos every single month if you guys want to or more. If you guys do want to have us do topics, you want relationship advice, if you want advice in anything, if you guys want to talk about music if you guys want us to do reactions to anything literally we're down for whatever all right guys that is it for us thank you so much for watching and we will see you in the next one cheers bam bye pulp fiction <laughs> every single time why are you wearing lipstick when you're about to drink a bunch of drinks because i want to look cute in my intro the foot <laughs> You're so annoying. I'm so excited. I can do this by myself. Okay. Before we do get started, please subscribe to my. What? <laughs> Stop it! I, mean... <laughs> <clears throat> I just snotted out like you did like the I other did day. Like I did yesterday. That was like two days. <laughs>